Hey YouTube, it is Rolf Cropper's 92 and today I'll be showing you how to pull ABS codes off of the second generation Toyota Avalons. I think this is second generation. Or first generation. No, this is first generation Toyota Avalons. This is a 1997 Toyota Avalon XLS with 3 liter 1MZ FE V6. Uh, I have an ABS light and I want to find out why. So, I'll show you how to do that today. I'll start right from the beginning. Well, I'll show you on my car. Hopefully it didn't clear itself because I already did it once. But I started to make a video and be nice and show you. I have a blazer. Where's my keys? Right here. Uh, let's see. Is it still on? Yes. Right there. You see, I have an ABS light. I know the car's not running, but it's like, well, I'm not going to start it because part of the intake's off. But I got an ABS light. It's been on for a while. Tech engine light's on too because the, the engine's not running. Uh, why is my freaking blower on? So, I'll show you how to pull ABS codes and how to read them. Well, I might as well tell you something here. When you do this, the ABS light is going to flash on and off, and your cruise light is going to start having an aneurysm. Um, what it's going to do, it's going to start flashing on and off. When it starts to read, uh, I'll give an example. Like a code, let's say a code 21. That ABS light will flash two times, then we'll have a short pause, and then flash once. And then there'll be a three-second pause between codes. If you have more than if you have more than one code, there'll be a three-second pause. If you just have a code, I think it's a three-second pause, and it's just going to say the same code again. So you got to watch and note how many times that ABS light flashes. So I'll uh, I'll show you how to do that under the hood. Over here, yeah, actually my part of my intake's off. I'm getting ready to do a real valve cover gasket. Right over here. Uh, if you're looking at the if you're looking at the car head on, it's the left side, right by the engine mount, right here next to the intake. You see this little cover right here says diagnostics. Open it up. See a bunch of plugs and stuff in here, and in here is a diagram of oh just a bunch of stuff. What you want to do? is get a piece of wire or something that will fit in there because you're going to have to jump two connections. The first connection, or the connection you want to jump is TC, you can't really see it on this camera, but TC and E1. E1 is right there next to this bigger connection here. And TC is the middle one right here next to the the gap right here. So that's what it looks like. Jumped and ready to read. So I'm going to get my phone out because yeah see it's <laughs> I had the key on when I did this and it's already starting to have a fit. My airbag lights flashing having a fit. My ABS lights flashing and my cruise lights having a fit. So I'm going to turn this off. Get my phone ready. ABS, the uh, airbag light's not enjoying itself. So I'm gonna get my phone ready so I can write these codes down. Um, I haven't actually pulled the codes yet because I watched the video. Um, I just I jumped in and I saw the ABS light flashing, so I know I did it right. I'm like, hmm, I'll make a video about this. Maybe it'd be helpful to people. So, key in, I get a, I already get a notepad started here so I can do this. Okay, get my steering out of the way. Three, three, then a delay, three, four, three, 
three, three, three, four. So that's all I have. I have a code 33 and a code 34. So now I can take that jumper wire out of there, go on the internet, and see what that's telling me. Hopefully it's something easy to replace. 33 and a 34. Now when you're all done, all you gotta do, take that wire, pull it out, close the lid. There you go. Now, let's go look up those codes. We got the code, oops, code, this keyboard's trash in this computer, so I gotta use the on-screen keyboard. Code 33 on a 1997 Avalon. ABS code 33. Diagnostic trouble chart. Thirty one thirty three. So it is the right rear wheel speed sensor signal malfunction. So that might mean might mean I need a new wheel speed sensor. Right rear speed sensor, speed sensor circuit, sensor rotor, sensor installation, ABS and traction actuator assembly, skid control ECU. Thirty four. Left rear wheel speed sensor signal. Same thing except for the left side. So apparently both my rear wheel speed sensors are trash. I might know why that did that actually, because when I first got the car I stuck the front end up on jack stands and I just let the wheels turn and I turned the wheel to make sure, you know, see if any CV joints were crap or anything weird happening in there. So the front wheels are spinning but the rear ones weren't. So maybe it was thinking the, uh, maybe it just threw a code thinking that the, the wheel speed sensors were bad. But anyway, at least you know how to pull codes on the first generation uh, Avalons for ABS now. Pretty easy. There you go.